When you know enough about your data, you can help your machine connect the dots with supervised learning. In supervised learning, you show the machine the connection between different variables and known outcomes. In machine learning, this is called the supervised learning. It's called supervised learning because it's already tagged with identifying information. Imagine you wanted to train a machine to help you predict how long it will take you to drive home. You would start by creating a set of labeled data. This data would include weather conditions, time of day, and whether it's a holiday. These are your inputs. The output would be the amount of time it took to drive home on that particular day. In this case, your independent variables would be the input and your dependent variable would be the output. Here you want to use different machine learning algorithms to map the relationships between these different variables. You can use statistical regression for this and determine how the independent variables affect the dependent variable. You intuitively know that if it's raining outside, it will take you longer to drive home, but machines have to rely on data and statistics. They have to look at the length of your commute and compare it to labeled data it has on the weather. Let's see how we can create a supervised machine learning model to help us determine our commute time. The first thing you want to do is create a training set. Based on this training set, your machine might see there's a direct relationship between the amount of rain and the time it takes to get home. The more it rains, the longer you'll be on the road. It might also see there's a connection between the time you leave work and the time you'll be on the road. The closer you are to 5 p.m., the longer it takes for you to get home. Your machine finds some of the relationships with your labeled data. This is the start of your data model. It begins to understand concepts like how rain impacts the way people drive. It also starts to see that there are more people who travel during certain times of day. Then your machine takes this training set and applies it to a test set of your data. It looks to see if the model in this training set holds true when you're looking at many more days. You could ask the computer to predict how long it will take you to drive home each day and then give it feedback on how accurate it was in its prediction. Over time, the machine will learn and adapt its model to improve the output. Your machine will continue to tune the model in the training set and you can make adjustments based on the new data. This is pretty similar to how humans learn. Think about when you learned how to drive. You started in a small parking lot with an adult guiding you. Then you got to the point where you could drive predictably and safely in this smaller space. Then once you built up enough confidence, you'd head out into the open road. You won't learn everything you need to know about driving in the parking lot, but you should get enough data to help you get started. Chances are you'll still learn a lot of new skills and hopefully you'll continue to improve over time until you become an expert driver. The key thing to remember is that in supervised machine learning you know a lot more about the training data. You can feed labeled data into the machine that's easily classified. So, with your commute home you know more about the weather, holidays, and time of day. This labeled data is the key difference between supervised learning and other forms of machine learning.